Welcome to clickmyproject.com Now we are going to discuss about the project Brain Extraction in Multiple T1 Weighted Magnetic Resource Imaging Slices Using Digital Image Processing Techniques Now we are going to discuss about the abstract of the process This process is proposed a computer aided deduction approach to diagnose the brain tumor using the mathematical morphological reconstruction that is the MMR technique Image is pre-processed to remove the noise and then artifacts present in the image for the segmentation to find the region of interest with probable tumor. Then the textural and statistical features are extracted from the segmented image to classify whether the image is having the tumor in the image or not, whether the dataset consists of the tumor or not tumor images, it will classify the images based on the suitable classifiers. The experimental result shows that the segmented image have the high accuracy and with the high sustainability reducing the computational time. This shows that the proposed solution can be used to diagnose the brain tumor in patient in this dataset. Hence finally, the performance of the process will be evaluated based on the accuracy of the process. If the accuracy of the process is high means the efficiency of the overall process is high. Now we are going to discuss about the flow diagram of the process. This is the overall working flow present in this project. This project consists of the modules such as input image, pre-processing, segmentation, feature extraction, classification and performance estimations. At first, the input image is taken from the dataset. The dataset consists of the MRI images of both the tumor image as well as the non-tumor image. After getting any one image from the dataset, we just move to the pre-processing. In this pre-processing, the major stage of pre-processor is median filter. Here the median filter is applied to remove the noises present in the tumor regions or else in the any other background regions. After applying the median filter, we just do the image resize into a size of 256 x 256 which means, which means the number of row will be the 256, number of column will be the 256. After applying these two median technique and then the image resize, we just move to the segmentation portion. In this segmentation portion, the primary component is the mathematical morphological model to segment the tumor region. After that, the connected component is applied to remove the unwanted regions present in the backgrounds. Then, if needed, the fuzzy C means clustering is applied to remove the unwanted region and to extract the appropriate position. Then, after that, the segmentation we have to extract the features from the images by means of the feature extraction method. Here we have an two kinds of feature extraction method. One is based on the age based features. Then the another one is based on the pattern based features. Here we are extracting these two kinds of features from the images. Then we just combine these two images, these two features together to generate the test feature. After generating the test feature, we just move to the classification step. In this classification step, we are going to use the machine learning classification to classify whether the input is having the tumor or not. After doing the classification, we just move to the performance estimation. In this performance estimation, we are going to apply the accuracy precision recall F measure, which means the accuracy, sensitivity and specificity by means of the true positive, true negative, false positive, false negative formula. Now we are going to discuss about the running procedure of the process. At first open the MATLAB 2015B and then change the current directory. If you want to execute the process, just right click in the main underscore gui.m and select the option run. Now the user interface was open. In that user interface you can see the several push buttons in the right hand side for the controlling actions and then the several axes and table in the left side for the display purpose. First of all we have to click the button input image. After clicking the button input image you have to open the dataset folder and have to select any one image from the dataset.
After the selection of the image from the dataset, the corresponding image is shown in the axis 1 with the title of input image. After getting the input image, we just move to the second stage of the project that is the pre-processing. In this pre-processing, we have already discussed in the flow diagram. First of all, the image will be resized into 256 as 256. After that, the median filter is applied to remove the noises. If the noise is present in the image, it will be removed. Then the grayscale conversion is applied to segment the region. So the initial step of segmentation is the grayscale conversion. Hence, it is also done in the pre-processing. After doing the pre-processing, we just move to the segmentation. So in this segmentation, the image is first of all, the skull will be stripped from the image. Then the final tumor portion will be extracted like this. In between, some of the results will be looking like this. Like original image, binary image, then eroded image that will be eroded the skull region of the brain. <coughs> After that, we just move to the feature extraction. So in this feature extraction, we have to remove extract the features from the image by means of the pattern and the edges. These are the features which I have shown in the table 1 represents the edge features. This table 2 represents the features of the patterns. Then finally the combined test feature. Then after extracting the features from the image, we just move to the classification step. So in this classification step, it will classify whether the tumor is present or not. If it is a tumor image means, it will show the message box like identified as tumor. Then after doing the classification, we just move to the performance estimation. In this performance estimation, we have to find out the performance like accuracy, sensitivity and specificity. These are the parameters we have estimated. This values are shown in the table around like this as well as in the bar chart format. Along with the accuracy, sensitivity and specificity, we are also calculated the precision, recall and the error rate. Thanks for watching this video.